Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Me in the Kitchen Space. In today's recipe, I'll show you my to-go very simple pork dry fry. And with me here, I have my list of ingredients. So from this corner, I have my onions, my coriander stems, some more onions and some coriander leaves. I have my pork, I have my salt, some grated ginger, some grated garlic, some paprika, black pepper, and some soy sauce. And of course, uh, you'll need some little bit of oil. Kidogo too. Without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, as I earlier mentioned in a previous episode where we were making some chicken, I mentioned that white meat doesn't have its own flavor, so it's very important if you start by marinating it. So I'm just going to add my spices, I'm also going to add some salt. Then I'm going to make this before I can go in with my soy sauce. So soy sauce really goes well with some pork. And sooner or later, I'll share with you some recipe that I borrowed somewhere. If you've been to Kamakis, you probably know that that place has very legit pork. So I had a chance to get to borrow the recipe. So I'm going to share it with you sooner or later. So just stick around. So I'm going to add my soy sauce and remember soy sauce also has some salt so I did not add a lot of salt and I'm just going to marinate this and you can see that this already looks pretty good. Uh, now that I'm happy I'm going to cover this and let it marinate and you can already smell uh, the flavors from the marination. And I'm going to cover this with a cream film and I'm going to marinate it for about 30 minutes, but the longer, the better. So this is about 40 minutes later and you can see how well our pork is looking. So let's get into the business and I'm going to start by heating my pan. And this is a very simple recipe. Once my pan is hot, I'll just go in with a few drops of cooking oil. That's about half a teaspoon because uh, our pork has some fat and we do not want to have a very fatty meal. Then once that is hot, I'll go in with my onions, the diced ones. And for this particular recipe, I would highly recommend if you have the red onions, please use the red onions. I did not have them, so I'm using what I have, and I'm going to cook this for about a minute, then I'll go in with my pork. So I'm going to rinse this marinade with some little bit of water. Oh, this is already looking yummy so at this point i'm going to cover it and in this process it is going to release its own juices Then at this point, I'm going to add my coriander stems. So I've been cooking it for about 12-13 uh, minutes thereabout, and I'm going to give this a stir. And you can see this looks really yummy. So what I'm going to do at this point. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. So this is going to help the pork via du condani. So remember, pork does not need unnecessary water or unnecessary soup. Otherwise, it's not going to be tasty. So I'm going to cover this and I'm going to keep for another about 12 more minutes. And then I'm going to be back to check if our meat is ready.
So this is about 30 minutes later since I started cooking and I've added my water uh, once more because I noticed the water that I added was quite little and my meat was not yet ready. So it's at this point I'll go in with my daniyas and this is the point where the onions play their part. So I, I would recommend if you have the red onions please use them but if at all you do not have this can also work. So they are just going to enhance the flavor of our dish. So as you can see, this is pretty much done. And as you can also notice, our pork was not that fatty, but it has some pieces of fat like this and also a small part of this. Wow, this looks delicious. So, uh, something with white meat. Uh, white meat is not the type of meat that you say you want some rare white meat. You'll get sick if you take some raw white meat. So, I'm just going to leave this for about three more minutes. Then, we can proceed to serve. And you can see this looks very amazing. So this is ready, so let's proceed to the other side for serving and tasting. This looks amazing, looks delicious. So I'm going to deal with this later, but for now, Let's appreciate how beautiful this meal looks. So as you've seen, it was that easy preparing this pork dry fry. And this was a recipe that was requested by one of my favorite followers. And it's now time to dig in and I serve mine with some ugali and some greens. Mm, mm, mm. This tastes amazing. Just try this recipe. Look at this. Mm. And you can see how our pork looks in the inside. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Wow. And the onions also add some flavor so be sure not to skip out on that onion part so i'll proceed and enjoy this on the other side and that's pretty much it for today's episode don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't and i'll definitely see you in the next one bye